guys, welcome back to Barista Labs channel. I'm Tiffany, and today I'm going to teach you how to brew coffee with a Chemex. Yes! Here, I'm on the clock and ready to rock! Chemex is one of my favorite brewers, and today I'm using a three cup, but usually I use an eight cup brewer. The reason I use an eight cup brewer is because the filters that I like, which are the pre-folded square white filters, fit perfectly with the eight cup, but I just thought it'd be really great to use something new today. Plus the three cup is so cute, don't you think? All right, let me give you a first a few tips. So when I make coffee, I get everything out that I need at one time. So I'll walk you through it step by step and then we'll show you some pictures to show you how to do it. So the first step is getting all of everything out. So you're going to need your filter, you're going to need your Chemex, you're going to need your coffee and a grinder and a scale if that's what you like to use. You'll also need hot water. So the first thing I do is I boil water and then I weigh out my coffee beans and yours may be pre-ground so it may not be necessary and then I grind the coffee for the grind you're gonna want to use between a French press or a press pot and a pour over so it's finer than a press pot but coarser than let's say like a Hario drip next what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to get out your filter and put the filter in the Chemex so for the three cup, the filter is the half moon with a little lip at the end. And what you do is you fold it in half and then you fold the lip up towards the top of the filter and then you fold it in half again. And no matter what type of filter you use, you're gonna wanna put the side that has three. So the thicker side of the filter is gonna go at the pour spout. And the reason for that is so the spout doesn't collapse. The filters don't collapse into the spout when you're pouring because then it'll make an uneven pour. You're gonna wanna pre-wet your filter. The most important thing about that is if you don't, the coffee will end up tasting like the paper and I highly recommend smelling the water after you pre-wet the filter because you'll notice the paper smell immediately and you don't want that in your coffee. So once you get that paper, that paper smell out of rinsing, then you dump the excess water. It also heats the brewer and you're gonna want to dump with the pour spout up so this is so you have a, a constant flow of water and so the filter doesn't pop out because if you pour it this way you're closing off closing the filter so that you don't have an opening you want to pour it out the spout intuitively but that doesn't really keep the filter in there so you're gonna want to pour it out the back way uh, I think that's all my tips for now we're gonna get to it all right let's get to business now that we have all of the pre-brew steps complete, now it's time to brew. The first thing that you do is uh, we're going to, we're gonna saturate the coffee grounds and we call it a bloom. Usually we do a bloom for about, well, any, anywhere between 45 and 60 seconds. And we're gonna use approximately 60 grams of coffee. Now, if you don't wanna use a scale, don't worry about it. Just make sure the beans are saturated. And the idea is that it's going to off gas. So you pretty much, you don't need a timer. You'll know when the coffee is done off gassing or degassing when it stops bubbling at the top. Depending on how old your coffee is, it could even be less than 60 seconds, less than 30 seconds. So this looks about done. We're gonna go ahead and do the rest of the water. We're going to aim it, start at the middle and pour in a circular motion very evenly. If you're using a three cup, you'll fill water to the top of the Chemex about twice and then that's enough water for your coffee. If you're using a different model, you're going to fill up till there's about an inch, about an inch from the top. the Chemex to finish brewing and then we can toss the filter and the last step is to give the Chemex a swirl because 
Do you remember when we pre-infused the beans? Like a very concentrated amount, because it was a little bit of water, a very concentrated amount is at the bottom of this brewer. So in order to incorporate all of the different types, the lightest brew is at the top because all of the water has gone through the beans and what's left is more watery on the top and more a stronger coffee or more total <laughs> deposits. On the bottom, it's the, it's the heavier, stronger coffee. So in order to incorporate it, we're gonna give it a whirl and then we're gonna pour our coffee and drink it. So those are the last three steps. And one of my favorite things about Chemex is the filter. Uh, it's also a very beautiful product, but the filter is so thick, it like triple filters. So it leaves the cleanest cup of pretty much any other brewer. So that's my favorite thing about the Chemex. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And let me know what you guys love about the Chemex. What you guys think of it, how you use it, which one you do use, and uh, don't forget to subscribe if you find our videos helpful. We love to hear requests, so leave your comments and questions down below and ring the bell so you know when we're adding new content. Thank you so much for watching. We're really excited to have you here at our channel. See ya!